We all dream, whether we remember our dreams or not. Dreams are metaphorical and symbolic. So we have to learn that language, sort of like looking at a novel and thinking, what is the theme? Who are the characters? What is the emotional quality of the novel? How do I feel about it? What is the message that the author is trying to get across? This is the way our dreams work. How do we remember our dreams? Some people remember them so much more easily than other people. But I do have some tips to help you remember your dreams. The first thing is intention. Really wanting to remember your dreams. You can't fool your psyche. So you have to find a reason that you want to remember the dreams. Number one, they're fun. And number two, they have messages in them. So remember that. The second thing I would encourage you to do in remembering your dreams is put paper and pencil by your bed. Make notes in the night for remembering your dreams. The next thing is to lie comfortably and quietly in your bed when you first awaken. Stay with the dream and let it come back to you. And again, make notes. Why do you want to remember your dreams? How do you understand this message of remembering your dream? I didn't understand why people were not paying attention to their dreams when they're so important. So I tried to make simple ways of understanding the message of your dreams. So if you're just going to pay attention to three aspects of your dream, I want you to pay attention to the characters, the emotions, and the beliefs that are in your dream. The characters will help us understand the different parts of ourselves. We can use the characters of our dreams to get a view of how we're acting and reacting in our life how we're either supporting ourselves or sabotaging what we think we want in life. The emotions of the dream are so impactful. I think we're basing our decisions based on our emotions, and we actually often don't even know what those are. We don't even know we're afraid because we're so busy in life. We push the fear aside but it's governing our decisions. Or we don't know we're sad. Or we don't even know we're mad at someone. But the dream will express that emotion in a big way. So we can look at that and see the intensity of that emotion in our dream and relate that to our waking life, learning what is holding us back or what is moving us forward in our life. The third thing is beliefs. I often watch people making changes in their life, transforming their life so quickly through dream work. But through the years, sometimes that change just leveled out. I mean, they sort of went back to their comfortable, inappropriate, or just not supportive way of being. Losing their goals, moving away from their goals. And I saw that it was the beliefs, old beliefs that were holding them back. They still could hear that voice of you'll never amount to anything or don't count your chickens before they hatch. So they couldn't go forward. There are so many beliefs that we have as individuals and these we can see in dreams too. And we can observe them and see if they are supporting us or again, whether they're sabotaging us in our life. So pay attention to characters, emotions, and beliefs in your dream. And think of your dream as a story. Step back and look at it as a stage play. What is the theme? What is the meaning? What is the message and the emotional impact of your dream?